What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. Today is August 3rd, 2023. My brother Abe from R2A Watches hooked me up with another watch to review for you guys. But today is a special moment. I wanted to share it with you guys. Today is day one of me quitting smoking after smoking for over 30 years. Um, I'm doing it. This is day one. But it is 6.30 p.m. today. And my last cigarette was like at 6.30 this morning. So I went 12 hours, which besides once or twice, I've never went this long. I'm holding true and I'm going to do it. So anyway, I wanted to share that because I want this to be a memory for me. Five years, 10 years, 20 years from now to be able to look back at this video and remember this day. And the first day of the struggle that was real, but I did it. So, Bostock Europe, that's what we got here today. This is the N1 Rocket, and I love this colorway. So I've already peeked at the box. I've already sized the watch to fit my wrist. Then I decided it was time to share it. Gorgeous watch. I had the N1 Rocket white dial with a blue bezel. And um, I'll put the card towards the end of this video. Um, if you want to see that video. But um, this one just hits better all the way around. First things first. I love... The dial color. It's like a, they call it a beige. I'm going to call it like a more of a cream, but, uh, like an eggnog color, really. It looks super good. And then we've got the contrasting numerals on the bezel. We've got gold up into 20. And then we've got stainless steel all the way around the wrist. The red triangle at the 12 o'clock with the pip. Just really good looking watch done right. Screw down sign crown. We've got all brushed on the top of the lugs, the whole case down the top of the bracelet, seven piece link bracelet. We've got only high polish on the sides, which I can deal with. Butterfly clasp. Exhibition case back, showing off that N1 rocket. And that rotor. And this is the NH34 GMT automatic by Seiko. That's powering this beauty here. But so I like the one I had originally. But times have been tough lately. I sold it off. And I think I want to buy this one from R2A Watches. Because I really like this one. My other one was high polished. This one is brushed. Which is a winner for me. I like the uniqueness of the dial color. Um... It just looks really good. So this is a 46 millimeter case diameter. 17 millimeters thick. Then we've got 55 mil lug to lug with female end links. 22 millimeter lug width. 7.5 millimeter sign screw down crown. You see that VE for Vostok Europe on there. 20 atmospheres, 200 meters, or 660 feet water resistance. 4.5 millimeter thick K1 crystal. Gorilla glass, whatever you want to call it. It does have a dome to it, and you can tell it's single domed because you can see that where it uh, has that glare or that distortion. That means the inside is not domed. Um, 4.5 millimeters thick. That's, is super thick. And, um, I've kind of heard from Abe and, and others that K1 crystal is supposed to be when it's that thick, more shatter resistant and more scratch proof than sapphire. I don't know how true that is, but that's what they use. And it is one thick piece of crystal. Um, the bezel on this one rotates. The guy I sold it to, which is Vincent. What up, Vincent? 
He says that his also rotates. This one is much easier to rotate. My original one, I didn't rotate it. I thought it didn't rotate. But this one rotates no problem. So that's cool that it rotates because, I mean, it's a feature that I really don't use. But it's nice to have. And it's a 60 click, it feels like. Definitely a 60 click. 60 click, unidirectional bezel. Lines up nice, no back play. So, I sized this before, I mean, I weighed this before I sized it. And then I weighed it again after I sized it. I had to remove four links. This bracelet is big enough, like almost a 10 inch wrist. Maybe nine and a half inch wrist. 259 grams, unsized. 231 grams minus four links for me. So it's very, a very chunky watch. A 46 millimeter, obviously it's pretty big. But I think it looks good on the wrist. And I dig it. I really like this one where I'm really considering buying it from Abe. It just replaces my one that I sold. And I like the brushing better than the high polish. I think it looks good. You can see width wise, it's just about at my limit, but it's good. I still got probably a quarter inch on either side of my wrist for lug to lug. This is 55 millimeter lug to lug. I think it looks great and I love the look of the watch. So let's hit it with some loom. Let's get it charged up and see this baby shine. Boom, full loom dial. So icing on the cake, you have a full loom dial as well. Now that is dope. Very good looking dial. I really dig this watch. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like the watch? Would you get one yourself? I think it looks great for being a big oversized watch. 46 mil, it works. I say anybody with like a seven inch wrist and up could pull this off for sure. So big shout out to R2A watches. If you wanna buy a watch, from R2A, you can use the code TOMMYBIGTIME, all one word, all caps, and get 15% off anything on the on the site. So that's R2A Watches. Use the code TOMMYBIGTIME, all one word, all caps, and get 15% off your purchase of anything you buy at R2A Watches. Shout out to my brothers there. And I'm going to wear this watch because uh, I think this one's going to stay in the collection. Let me know what you guys think if you think I should keep this one. I think it's gorgeous and it's worth adding to my collection. It's different. But stay tuned for photos. And if you don't, we'll see you in the next video. Much love. God bless. <laughs>